Well, good morning, everybody. Now, I hope you'll stick with me on this one. This morning, I've come to somewhere where I've been, oof, must be close to a hundred times over the years. And uh, I've never taken a decent landscape photo. And this morning, I hope to change that. Now, if you want to find out how I propose to do that, then just keep following me. Right, well, I've just set up for this photo, um, and yeah, I've had to work really quickly, so I've actually taken the photo already. I don't know whether you can see the sun is sort of come up there, and it's literally just about to disappear back behind the cloud. So, uh, yeah, I've had to work really quickly. What I've done, and it's so dull now, it's incredible. There's this these little ponds this used to be I think a lot of gravel pits um, before it was a nature reserve so you've got numerous gravel pits here which is now as I say a nature reserve and uh, you've got all this lovely reed this brown reed in there and uh, you've got some some lovely silver birch trees at the back as well and when this get lit, gets lit up with the early morning sun it looks absolutely beautiful so what I've done is I've just set up a really simple shot really just to sort of look across this little piece of water through the reed towards those silver birch at the, the back of the, um, of the water there. And it was all lit up beautifully by that sun a minute ago. And of course now it's gone. <coughs> so hopefully I've got a shot. Um, I had to sort of try and find my way to get across a barbed wire fence uh, to try and find the entrance into this field, which I did eventually, which took, took me quite a bit of time. So. Uh, yeah, it was uh, one of those where it was a bit of a rush. So yeah, I've got a shot and hopefully it's gonna be a decent one. And uh, yeah, the settings were, if you have a look at the back of the camera, so an eighth of a second, F13, ISO 100, and uh, that's kept everything in focus nicely. I've got a ND grad filter on the front just to darken the sky down a bit. And that's basically it. And uh, yeah, you'll see the picture at the end of this vlog. I'm going to wait here for a little bit longer just to see whether that uh, sun comes back out again and uh, lights up these reeds. So while I do, I, I want to explain a little bit about what I said earlier, that I've visited this place a hundred times, never got a decent landscape photo. I was a wildlife photographer and I think because of that, when I did landscape photography, what I, I did, I, I would rely too much on the rules of landscape photography. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the rules of landscape photography, but what I would say is that they're not really rules, they're guidelines, and people do, certainly I did, take them too literally. And what I find that did with me was that I could be anywhere, I could be in the Lake District, the most you know, beautiful place in the country, or one of them at least, and I'd walk past potential shots because it didn't conform to the so-called rules of landscape photography. So, you know, I'd be walking in the Lake District and I'd walk out and go, wow, look at that, what a scene. And then I'd go, what can I use for foreground interest? There isn't anything. 
Now, it doesn't really conform to rule of thirds. I can't really split it like that. Oh, there's, you know, there's two trees there. I should have one or three. That looks better. Oh, I'm going to pass it by until I find something else. And I used to walk, I must have discounted hundreds of images like that. Since I've sort of gone to 90% landscape, 10% wildlife, I've had a total switch. What I've done, and this is in no small part actually to watching some Thomas Heaton uh, videos. I know everybody or most people be, uh, will be aware of his, his stuff on YouTube. But I noticed that what he mentions a lot when he's out walking is that he looks for what catches his eye. And when, when you do that, you then, when you found that element, you then try and work a composition from that. And it doesn't matter if all those elements aren't there, because whatever's attracted your eye is going to attract other people's eyes as well. So you found, you know, the start of your image. And really from then is just to try and make a composition that you like, that may have some of the elements of these rules, uh, but may not, you know, and it might not have any foreground interest. It might be split right down the middle of the screen. You know, there might be four trees instead of three. You know, that, it doesn't matter if it's attracted you initially, then that's what you should go with. And that's really all the message I really wanted to send and why I came here this morning is because I've always found this place really difficult. And as I say, I've never taken a landscape photo here before. I've always struggled. And it was because I used to use this sort of blinkered approach. Right, made it back to the car. Really happy with what I've shot this morning. I've only got one image, but you know, I've seen loads of things that when I get here early and I get here for the light, um, I'm gonna head straight there next time I come. Uh, I've, I've spotted three or four locations on the way back that'll make a nice image in the right light. So yeah, I'm not disappointed at all. And I think it has proved my point that you know, by just looking for things that catch your eye rather than looking for all these guidelines first, you know, you will get more pleasure and more shots. You'll not be as frustrated either, you know, when you see something and think, oh, it just doesn't, hasn't got everything that it should have, I'm going to leave it. You know, don't do that. Just look for the things that you like and then work a composition from there. If you've enjoyed this vlog, then uh, please give me a like. And I would be really interested to know if the issues that I've had with landscape photography and the way that um, I've struggled because I've sort of adhered to the landscape photography guidelines or rules too strictly. Um, yeah, then please let me know in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this vlog, then please think about subscribing and uh, you can see more of my content in the weeks to come. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you soon. Ignore the sunlight